Hello students, welcome in Santa Tukaram National Model School, Latu. Class first, subject EVS, subject teacher Ragini Pandit. Today we are going to learn our fourth chapter, Things Around Us. In that, we are going to learn two concepts. First one, living things and second one, non-living things. There are different types of things around us. They can be living things or non-living things. Every day usually we see many things around us. Look at the picture of railway station. What do you see? On the railway station we can see many things like the train, people, bookstall, food stall, water filter, watch, bench, fan, speaker etc. But do you know what is the difference between all the things? Yes, absolutely correct. Some things can move, some cannot. So first of all, we will see living things. What do you mean by living things? The things which can move, walk, fly, breathe, grow, reproduce their young ones, known as living things for example all the animals birds trees and human beings are the example of living things living things can breathe and having feelings from these two examples we can understand easily all living things eat food and water for their growth as like human and animals plants can make their own food for preparing their food the process is known as photosynthesis they need air water and sunlight for preparing their food all living things show growth in their body living things can fly move walk easily with the help of wings legs they have ability to reproduce their young ones these are the characteristics of living things let's move towards the non-living things they are totally opposite of living things what do you mean by non-living things the things do not move do not eat and drink do not breathe do not grow and do not give birth to the young ones called as non-living things let's learn with the help of examples see the pictures chair and fan they do not move from one place to other by its own they do not breathe that means school bag and stone do not breathe that's why we called as non-living things they do not grow they do not move they do not give birth to young ones and these are the characteristics of non-living things in this way we have learned living things and non-living things all of you understood that